Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back everyone to another video and today I have got you guys some Black Ops 3 videos. So this is going to be one of my first uh, videos on some Black Ops 3 information. If you guys want more, let me know in the comment section down below. And as you've seen by the title and possibly already by the thumbnail, what I'm going to be telling you guys is all the lethal and tacticals for Black Ops 3. Because when you hop into Black Ops 3, uh, you're probably going to be wondering exactly what these things are and what they do. And what I've got to say, all these lethals and tacticals are just basically the same from previous Call of Duties, but there is a few new items and new iterations uh, that do change up the game a little bit. And if you're wondering where I got this gameplay and pick from I got them all from reddit and reddit basically provided this I think it was either some youtuber or some reddit moderator who went to the event and posted all of this so that's where I got it from uh, all you have to do is type in reddit black ops 3 and you can find all this stuff over there and we're going to say some of these lethals and tacticals and features in black ops 3 are pretty cool and I will be doing videos on the perks and all of that so if you want me to do that let me know in the comment section down below so we're going to be looking at first of all is we're going to be looking at the lethals because the lethals are quite interesting in this game and the first thing we're going to be looking at as you can see on the screen uh, is actually the frag grenade so I have pictured the pictures of these things I uh, can so you can see exactly how it looks so the first thing is a frag grenade pretty simple stuff basically produces lethal radius damage upon detonation that's exactly what it says and to be honest I really do like the graphics and it kind of has like the same black ops 1 black ops 2 arty style to everything uh, which I do like so you have the frag grenade over there looks quite nice looks a bit different uh, to what we usually see in Call of Duty the next thing is the semtex uh, this kind of looks like an avocado wrapped around with a belt or something in my honest opinion uh, But as you can tell it is a semtex. It says grenade that sticks the surfaces before detonating I don't think there was a semtex in black ops 2. Oh wait, no, sorry There was I don't know what I'm saying. Maybe it's one of the codes uh, But usually there is semtexes all the time good to see it come back and uh, basically that's what it's gonna do So it actually is an advanced warfare. I'm pretty sure that's the game I was thinking about uh, so yeah looks like an avocado good stuff the next thing is something a little bit different and that is the thermite so what it says is a grenade that explodes in a lethal heat zone that lasts for a short duration of time. So basically, it's like a Molotov cocktail that you throw down and basically, as it says, a lethal heat zone. So if someone steps on that area, it's kind of like a gas grenade and after a while, they're gonna be losing health. So that's something a little bit interesting and possibly the most interesting lethal on this. It has to be the C4 because they totally changed everything about it. So as you can see, it's a plastic explosive device that is detonated by double tapping square or pressing R1 equipped with a proximity alarm that notifies that notifies player when an when an enemy is near the device uh, so basically with c4 it tells you if you're near an enemy c4 and it gives out a little as it says it notifies the player when an enemy is near the device not only that uh, but you can't throw c4 in the air and blow it up like back in black ops 1 and black ops 2 it actually has to touch the ground for it to blow up so there's not going to be too much of those c4 spammings in the air like it was in black ops 2 i love doing that so they definitely changed up which in a way is a good thing and which in a way kind of breaks my heart because I love doing that so it actually has to touch the ground this time which isn't too much a uh, bit of a biggie but usually you might not be able to kill them but you still might be able to damage as much health of them as possible the next thing is going to be a trip mine and basically what this thing is is a bouncing Betty more or less so proximity mine that launches into the air before detonating so once again it is basically like a bouncing Betty I'm going to assume that if you prone down you wouldn't uh, be able to die or something like that so so that's gonna be pretty interesting. The next thing is the combat axe. Tomahawk is back, baby. Yes, combat axe, retrievable axe that causes instant death on impact. How awesome is that? So it's finally back. And if you're wondering, yes, it does bang shot off objects. And I'm going to be seeing a lot of a uh, cross map Tomahawk's gameplay. So that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, the next thing we're going to be looking at now is the tacticals. As you can see, we've got a concussion grenade, disorient, enemies, and and show and slow movement. Sorry. And as you can tell, concussion grenade, nothing too special about that. Uh, the next thing which is going to be interesting is the smoke screen. And what it does is it produces a smoke screen upon impact. Allies within the smoke cannot be detected on the enemy minimap. So soon as you throw the smoke grenade you won't be able to be on the minimap which I find awesomely insane uh, because usually in search and destroy I use this thing a lot and if you're not on the minimap when using it then that is pretty sweet uh, but as you can tell it's obviously the flashbang the EMP but we don't need to go into too much detail because it's pretty obvious what it is the next thing is the trophy 
entry system. Now this one's a little bit different. It destroys incoming en en enemy projectiles within 10 meters. Vehicle missiles have a chance to penetrate. So as you can tell, just a basic trophy system, except obviously destroys enemy incoming projectiles within 10 meters and vehicle missiles have a chance to penetrate. So obviously if it's like a stingray or something, it can actually shoot trophy systems now, which is a little bit different. And the thing that's gonna be annoying me a lot has to be the shock charge, because this thing is back. Yes, this thing annoyed me back in Black Ops 2. Hopefully it won't annoy me that much. And as you can see, it's a proximity triggered mine that electrocutes and stuns nearby enemies. So that's gonna annoy me a lot. I'm probably gonna have to put that perk on. That's probably gonna stop that thing. Cause I've got a feeling a lot of people are gonna be putting like four, two times of these things on the ground. I can just feel it. I'm not sure exactly what the classified tactical is, but I've got a feeling it's one of those grenade things in advanced warfare, or it's gonna be something similar to that. We can actually cycle through all of uh, the concussion flash bang, EMP and smoke and throw it. I'm guessing it's going to be something like that. I'm not exactly too sure what it's going to be, but guys, that is going to be the video for today. What I want to know down below in the comment section is out of the lethals and tacticals, which one are you most excited for? And out of all the previous Call of Duties, what lethals and tacticals would you like to see back? Personally, they do have most of the uh, lethals and tacticals from previous Call of Duties, uh, but I would like to see something a little bit different, but so far this game is looking quite nice, and I'd like to know in the comment section if you want me to do a video like this uh, explaining what every single perk every single score streak all the maps all the weapons all the attachments let me know if you want to see that but guys thanks for watching today's video can't thank you enough for the support if you could drop a like it does help the channel out so hopefully you guys have enjoyed and i will catch you guys later globe